Welcome everyone to the Philippines and today I'm gonna go vintage watch shopping and you're gonna want to stick around to the end because the one dealer was dumping out buckets and buckets of watches. We're fine right though. Out of the 26 watches I bought, the first one that I bought was a Sega reference number 0703-6020. The guy was asking 1500 pesos, roughly 25 US dollars. He's going to wear from 50 upwards to 130 bucks depending on the condition and is running a quartz movement. For 250 pesos, or roughly 45 US dollars, I bought the Casio CMD-50, released in the early 90s, and the vintage Citizen 300m Titanium Diver, released in the 90s as well. Here's the reference. The Casio goes anywhere from 70 to 200 bucks, depending on the condition, and the Citizen anywhere from 250 to 400 bucks. Some are listed for 60 or 700 bucks, but they haven't sold yet. It's currently in the shop for repair because the movement was rusted, so hopefully we'll see how that works out. For 3,000 pesos, or roughly 53 US dollars, I bought two Seikos, 6602-8050. These go anywhere from 70 to 200 bucks, and it's running a manual wind movement. And the 7123-8070. It's nicknamed the Silver Wave. These go anywhere from 40 to 200 dollars, depending on the condition. I haven't tested the battery yet. All right, now here's where it gets crazy. The Wonder alone had over a thousand watches. On the table alone were just the SKXs. These are the Orients, and here are just the Seiko Belmatics. Sadly, the camera died, so I wasn't able to film all 1,000 watches. After the camera died, the guy was bringing out at least a dozen or more buckets full of watches. Now, you're probably wondering what I bought out of the 1,000. Under the reference number Citizen GN-4-S, I bought 17 in total, 8 that look like this, and 9 that look like this. Most of them are non-running. I bought the Orient EM53-DO that is missing the case, and the Citizen Chronograph. Here's the reference. In total, I spent 38,000 pesos, or roughly 680 US dollars. Now, if you've been on eBay for some time now, you probably noticed the lots of Seiko or Citizen repair, mostly from the Philippines. So, similar to that, I plan to list the Citizen GN-4-S's for 20 to $40 individually or in lots starting at a bid or buy it now. The Orient goes anywhere from 40 to 90 US dollars, depending on the condition. And the Citizen Chronograph, nicknamed the Spider, goes anywhere from 180 to 300 dollars. It was running and it's currently being serviced right now. Also included in the lot, were 10 free citizen movements. I don't know the caliber, I'm sorry, but here's a photo of them. Lastly, for 2,000 pesos, or roughly 40 US dollars, I bought the 1975 Pulsar Flick of the Wrist, kinda looks like Among Us, and also the Casio BP-100. The Pulsar can go upwards to $500, but in non-working condition, it'll probably sell for $75, and in running condition, $200 to $300. The Casio, on the other hand, is running, and goes anywhere from $50 to $150. Now, with the opportunity to buy over a thousand watches and a little under eight hundred fifty dollars spent, there are some regrets. I should have been more selective on picking which watches would provide the most return. Also, most of them were non-running, so just like being more selective, I should have bought the ones that are running. The second thing is, I should have bought more parts for rare watches, such as the Citizen Spider or the Citizen Bullhead, which he did have parts for. But I decided to pass on them because I didn't know the price until I looked it up when I got home. Individually, these parts alone could probably sell more than the Pro Masters alone, and they are very desirable. In total, I bought 26 watches for a little under 850 US dollars, and in the future, I'll be definitely going back again. Like always, I appreciate the support. A subscribe would be appreciated, and I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments what I should change. Thank you, and goodbye.